Hi everyone and welcome to a Primark haul. If you're new, my name is Sarah and I am a new mum. I have a five week old daughter as well as a toddler and I took my first trip to Primark in months, like two months, definitely since the baby was born and I went a bit mad. I could have bought so much more, I could have spent hundreds but I tried to restrain myself and I've ended up buying what I'm hoping will be three really nice outfits plus a couple of bits for the girls. I'm going to start by showing you what I bought and then I'll show you some try on clips as well. Okay, I'm going to go through some smaller purchases to begin with before I get into the main outfits. I just bought this hair clip for two pounds. I broke mine when I was in hospital giving birth, so this will be really good when I've got super thick hair. So I'm hoping this will hold all of my hair in. Just some trainer socks. Do you even go to Primark if you don't buy essentials like trainer socks? This is a pack of seven pairs, white socks for two pounds. And some underwear, because again, do you even go to Primark if you don't buy underwear? This is a pack of five for, and it's a size small, and this was, £3.50. The smaller Primark is 10 to 12, which I really like because I don't know, I, I am like a 10 to 12, so it makes me feel like I'm so small. Now I'm gonna get into the outfits. And one of the things I really wanted to look for in Primark was some bodysuits. I thought they'd be really nice as a mum because I can wear like high waisted things. Like I've got this skirt on today that's nice and high waisted and it hides the mum pouch. But I hate having shirts where they untuck themselves. So I thought a bodysuit would be really good. And Primark did not disappoint. There's a lot of styles to choose from. But this is what I went for. This black bodysuit. It's also nice and long. So I have quite a long body. And I held it up against me. And I thought this was a really good length. And this is a small. So again, size 10 to 12. And it's only £6. And I really liked it for this button detail. Because I hate wearing stuff that's really high up. Because it just makes me look really like chest heavy. And just doesn't suit me. It's long sleeve. And it's ribbed. I don't know if you can see on camera. But it's nice and ribbed. I thought I could pair it with this skirt. This is like a, actually I think it's like a, it's got brown and black in, so the black should still work. But it is an animal print midi skirt, I guess, with an elasticated waist. Again, it's, this is a size 10, but with the elasticated waist, I thought that was a bit more forgiving for my mum tum. Uh, it's 13 pounds and it's got like pleats in it, which this is a very me style skirt. I showed my mum and she was like, that's a Sarah skirt. <laughs> In fact, I'm wearing a very kind of similar style one today, but I liked the dark pattern. Can't go wrong with a little bit of animal print, but it's not too in your face. Like from a distance, it could just be polka dots, but then close up, it's quite a nice animal print, but it's not, it's not a tacky one and it's lined. It's got a nice lining and that's quite thick. So, you know, you're not gonna see anything. And I thought this would go really well with like black, like biker boots or black boots. And you could even wear it with like tights when it gets colder. You could dress it up with like black heels for a bit more of an occasion wear. So it's quite a versatile skirt, I thought. Okay, so this is the first outfit. I really like it. I think it looks really well together, or from what I'm seeing in the screen, it does anyway. The bodysuit is lovely. It's not uncomfortable it's long enough um i definitely don't feel like it's going to rise up this skirt is so comfortable it's got a nice bit of stretch on it but it doesn't look like too baggy i think it's quite flattering it's all still got my little pouch but i am only five weeks postpartum i just i think it's a really nice outfit i like the length of it it's kind of can you see it's like mid calf length so i think that looks nice the bodysuit i think fits well it's a little bit like a little bit puckered there but like I said hopefully things will like shrink down a little bit in a few more weeks so yeah I like it I think the black is quite flattering it makes me feel it makes me feel good considering I've just had a baby and I don't feel like it, I'm spilling out I feel like it fits me well and I feel comfortable in it so that's the main thing next outfit I got was very similar to begin with I just got exactly the same bodysuit in grey and I thought I would pair it with these jeans. So these are, what are they classed as? These are the raw hem skinny high waist jeans. They're 13 pounds and they are a size 12. I went for my bigger size. So I'm kind of between a 10 and a 12 because 
I'm still losing a bit of weight, but I, I remember even last time when I lost like some of my baby weight, I was a bit heavier set than I was pre-babies at all. And Primark jeans, I think, were a little bit smaller on me. I like that it's high-waisted, so hopefully that will sit really well and look good. It's got a few little rips on it. Like, not massive rips though, and the hem, see if I can, is, like, well, like it said, a raw hem, which I really like this style. I just think it makes them look a bit more casual, but they look nice with je um, heels. If you style them up with heels, they usually sit quite nicely on the ankle. And I liked the darker blue colour. They had a lot of jeans. They had a lot of super ripped jeans. And I wasn't sure if I fancied like the really ripped ones, but I do like a bit of distress on jeans. To go with the jeans, I bought some footwear, these gorgeous boots. I saw them and I was like, oh, they're cute. And then I went around the shoe, I sort of saw them somewhere else in the shop. And then I went around the shoe section, saw them again. And I was like, I am actually really drawn to them. I don't have any style like this. I love the chunky heel and the grip. I thought they were like a nice casual heel. I wouldn't feel like I was overdressing in them, but it would just make me feel a little bit more put together. And I think they'll be really comfortable. So they just lace up at the front, but they are zip which is good because I have narrow feet so I can tighten them with the laces. They were £16 I think, £16, oh I've just realised they're a wide for extra comfort but I can always put an insole in. But they're just so cute. Okay I really like this outfit, it's so simple but I think it just looks very very nice and flattering again. These jeans fit me really well I think. A little bit at the back, there's a bit of give but I can always end up putting a belt on them if, if they get stretched or whatever but tumble dry usually shrinks things again this obviously fits the same as the other one i do like the gray color i love the jeans now i've got one shoe on and one shoe off i thought i'd show you the length so that's kind of if you can see that's where they fall on the ankle so just resting on the ankle which would look nice with trainers but also they're long enough to tuck in to boots and these are the boots which I don't know if you can see them too far back, but I think they look nice. I really like these boots. I think these are gonna be like worn so much in winter. Love this outfit. What do you think? I really like it. Love the colour of the jeans as well. My final outfit that I got was a super duper casual one. I was looking for some black leggings. I bought some great ones while I was pregnant and they were really good. They've worn really well and they're quite thick so they don't like feels like too cheap and thin. So I wanted to try the black ones. So these were £2.50. I got them in a small, a 10 to 12, and they're just black cycle shorts. If they, if I like them, I'll probably get a few more because £2.50, you can't go wrong. And I thought I would pair it with this Disney shirt. So this is a, can you see on there? Winnie the Pooh in a nice kind of, I don't know, is it peach, is it salmon? I think it's like a salmony pink. No, maybe like a peachy pink, but I got it in a medium, which is a 12 to 14, because I wanted it to be a bit longer. I don't like that sometimes when I wear this like t-shirt and cycle shorts, that the t-shirts I've already got are a bit short, so I just feel a bit like exposed on my bottom. But this was a bargain, this was in a sale, so it was £3, it should have been £5. But they had loads of Disney t-shirts and loads of, not even just Disney ones, but just this style of like big oversized baggy t-shirt. So perfect to wear with cycle shorts for around the house. And as it gets colder, I can just wear it with plain leggings as well. This was a little bit of an impulse, but I hadn't planning, hadn't planned on buying this, but I don't have a hoodie like this. I have one hoodie, it was from a musical show that I was in, so it's emblazoned with the show on it, which is fine, but sometimes I don't want to walk about town with that on. So this is just a plain hoodie in the colour nude. It's like, it's a nudie colour, but it's on the pinker side. And I got a medium, because I wanted it a bit baggier, and it's £10. And it feels really soft inside, and it's a full zip one. I've got lots of hoodies that go over the top, but I wanted like a zip-up jacket to go with this kind of casual outfit, so that if we're in the house like all day, but we just want to nip to the park, I can just throw this on, and it's still like an outfit that I can leave the house in, but it's obviously also very comfy. And this is the final outfit, and again, I love it. It's so casual and cosy. I never thought I'd be into the whole... Can you see all my coat hangers? I just realised you can see the mess behind me. Just ignore that. 
I never thought I'd be into the whole cycle shorts and baggy t-shirt look, but it's so nice for around the house. I get so hot when I'm holding the baby, but then like if I want to go out, I might want a jacket. So I'll just show you it with just the t-shirt. So like I said, they do loads of these styles, just like different patterns on. But yeah, I think that looks really, really nice. Well, I say nice, like it looks, it feels nice. These are actually really good. They're quite like decent. And because this t-shirt covers my bum, like I feel well covered. I'd even go to like a baby class in this whilst the weather's still a bit warmer. And then this, I love that it's baggy. I love that I got like the next size, I think just kind of adds to that cozy look. I know this will be versatile as well. I can obviously wear this with jeans and everything. And like I said, leggings when it does get colder, but I really like this look. Do I look trendy? I feel like, I feel like if this is the trend right now and I'm like nailing it. Does that make me really uncool saying that? Have I just like lost all of my cool points? Like I'm in a cool outfit, but it's also Disney and I've just said I'm cool, which means I'm not cool. Oh, I'm definitely gonna embarrass my kids, aren't I, when I'm older? They're gonna be like, mum, what are you wearing? <laughs> But they're not old enough to tell me that yet, so I shall continue to try and keep up with the kids. I bought the girls a few bits, they don't actually need anything. Sophia needs a little bit more, she needs some like autumny clothes, but Amelia doesn't need anything because she has got all of Sophia's previous clothes plus all of the new ones I've bought for her already. However, I couldn't resist buying a couple of bits. First of all, this matching Bambi Disney outfit. Oh, how cute! got leggings so I really liked it because it's got a lovely is this like a scalloped is that what it's called neckline and it just says hello lovely so cute I love the colours and then the leggings are really sweet as well and that's a tiny baby version so I got not to three for Amelia so she can start wearing that now and 18 to 24 months for Sophie for Sophia for autumn and they were both eight pounds I got Sophia another jumper and legging set. This really cute, like cream and pink one, and it's got a bunny on it. Really cute, look like the little bunny feet. And then the leggings, really love this colour. It's got a little frill. That was also eight pounds. And then finally, this gorgeous dress and tight set. So it comes with cream tights. It's like a little pinafore. How cute is it? Look at the detail. It's got little ruffle sleeves. The top, so detailed on the edges. And then on the back, it like crosses over. I just thought that was really, really sweet and perfect for like autumn, winter. I got it in at 18 to 24 months. It will see it through all the way till just after Christmas. I just thought that was really, really sweet. I didn't want to get Amelia one because I don't like babies in like two darker colours. I think this is a bit of more of a toddlery little girl style than for baby but this was 11 pounds i mean how cute is that for 11 pounds final thing i bought was for the home we have a rubbish home section in our shop it is tiny it's probably like as big as this bedroom it's just rubbish they just sell like a few cushions and tea towels and things not a lot at all but they do do nice diffusers and i bought diffusers from there before and i didn't want to buy a new diffuser but they do a refill so this is Uplift Pink Peony Fragrance Refuser Refill and it was £3. I've not smelt it yet actually. Okay, it's got a seal on. I can't smell it because it's got a seal on, but I'm sure it will smell lovely. So I'm just going to go around. I have one in each of our bathrooms, so I'm just going to refill that and hopefully it will freshen up the house. That was everything I bought from Primark. Let me know which items are your favourite. Let me know what you think of the outfits I've put together. Obviously, I haven't accessorised them with handbags and shoes and all of that, just the outfits. But what do you think of them? Did I do well? Is it a good look? <laughs> I'm trying to go for like a casual but also put together mum look this year. Just something that's super easy for me to throw on in the morning before going off to baby groups. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I will hopefully be doing some more hauls and some more mum fashion related videos as I get my body back, get back to myself and just find my style again. I also film lots of vlogs and lifestyle videos and just life with having two children to two so if that's your thing then hopefully you will join me join me on my channel and i'll see you on the next video bye guys